So you can see there is a xi. Xi has given all the values like a one, two, three, four, up to sixteen. Okay. So your first that, work. What's that? What's work. that? Uh, what's that logo uh, known as? Xi, xi. Okay. This one, this one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah xi. So you can write like this, or any other spelling. Uh, now the thing is, you have to check this uh, multiple of three. What are the multiple of three when uh, from this list of xi? Uh -huh. Multiple of three of this list of three, you have to check. Okay. Okay. And then after only you can go forward. So A and B after uh, getting the values A and B, then only you can uh, make this diagram. So let's begin. Okay. So A and B, if you are going to solve it like. Uh, let me take a little, um, then that the whole diagram will come. Okay. So first of first of all, this this is multiple of three. Multiple of three means you have to check table of three, right? Yes, sir. yes, sir. So first is three, then six, uh, six then nine, nine and then fifteen. Fifteen. So this is the last one. After 15, we can go 18, but 18 in the not in the list. So we yes, go forward. Now five. So multiple of five, five, 10, 15. 10, 15. So this much only. After that, those values are not coming. So yes, first, sir. what you have to do, you have to check in between A and B, which are common. So you can see that this 15 is common yes, between sir. them, right? Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. So in between them, 15 you have to write because this is okay. the common area. So this okay. is the common area. Common between. And. Okay. Just a minute. <coughs> between A and B. Okay. Now yes, this sir. is common. The rest of the values you have to check it out like 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 is already there. Now for B, 5, 10, and 15. Now, rest okay. of the values like rest of the values like 1, 2, 3 is already there, 4, oh. 5 is already there, 6 is already there, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Very, very, okay, yeah. 15 and 16. So these are the values you have to place it in this box. Okay. okay, okay. This yes, total value, total box is uh, talking about xi. So your distribution is done. Your distribution is okay. complete. After the distribution, okay. what you have to do, you have to check the next question. Okay. okay. So if you if you check it, the next question is talking about now one of the number is selected at random. Okay. So first is complete the Venn diagram we have completed. Then after one okay. of the numbers, num write down P uh, intersection B. Okay, now probability of P intersection B, intersection in the intersection part, okay, how many numbers are there that you have to check. Okay. In the intersection, you can see there is uh, only one value that is 15. 15, Correct? yeah. 15. So when you're going to find probability of a intersection uh, B. So there will be possibility only one value is coming between them. So out of what? Out of A intersection B is out of how many numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and total around 16 numbers are there in Xi. Yeah. Okay. 
So if you are going to compare A B union A and B together, so your mm -hmm. uh, probability will be uh, one over uh, sixteen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only one value is coming among the all the sixteen values. Okay. okay. Like this, you have to solve it. So let okay. me check the next question. What is talking about? And I'll come back and I'll explain. Um, okay. So that's it for the first question. Similarly, second okay. question. Okay. Let me just erase this part and go to the second question of it. Okay. Second question is talking about. Uh, here is a Venn diagram where is Venn diagram is given and you okay. have to write down what is the values. What are the values are there? For example, D. D is total circle. So your D set will be 5, I think so. 6 and 9. Okay. okay. Now C, E and D. So you, you understood that how to find it out. Just after this next all, all of the questions you are going to solve. I'm just solving. This is the last question I'm solving. So 1, okay. 4, Five, six, nine. So this is the union between C and D. So all the values which is consist of between A, C, and D, I have to write it over here. Okay. Sir, now I have a, I have I have one doubt. Yes, ask. Uh, so uh, what about this eleven and seven? So that will also come under something only. No, I mean either C or D. No, no, because they are outside. So it will come at the state of xi. Okay, if you are going to write xi. Like uh -huh. one, four, five, six, seven, nine, eleven. Oh, now in the field okay. of xi, okay, uh -huh. xi for xi these values are there, seven and eleven, not for C and D. If you're going to check C, C has a value that is one, four, five, and nine. And remember, you have to check this. What is the common value? You have to write uh -huh. it over there. Five okay, and nine so is. So you can see in a C also I'm writing, D also I'm writing. Thereafter uh -huh. we can. Am I clear? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, okay, fine, fine. So this is the way to um, solve. So can you do the C also? I mean the C intersection, that one. C intersection. Which one? The yeah, the last one, yeah. C part. Okay. Fine, fine. C part also I'm solving. So just check it out. C. C complement. C complement means except C rest of the number. So X C complement means it's a except C rest of the number means how you're going to solve this. Except C. C has one, four. So I'm canceling right. one, four, five, and nine. So except C, what are the numbers are there? So seven, six, six and eleven. eleven. Okay, sir. Okay. Rest of the values. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, now next, next is your turn. How you're going to solve this question? So I stop it here. 